I just wanted to make a little video about another project I've had going on the last couple of weeks now. Um, this is, I'm out in my pole barn here, and this is the one in the front. And I've got a simple solar power system that I've been using for lights in it. Um, I did use lead acid batteries for a while, deep cycle ones, but they do not last long at all in a system like this. So Amazon had some good deals on that Prime Day, and I started to try to update it a little bit. Now originally, I did this about six years ago with a 100 watt energy panel on the roof and this little controller, but I don't think it's rated for the new batteries that I'm installing, so I just picked up a, um, a new controller, you know, really cheap on Prime Days from the Renergy. I don't know how good it is or anything, but I do have a 100 watt solar panel on the roof and I may put another one up there soon and um, basically you can see I got some pretty heavy wires coming up through there and then they they do go through a fuse to, to fuse the system and I put big wires so I can put more panels later and then it's going to go through the charge controller and I'll be installing the batteries in a second and then I just have a simple 700 watt this is a modified sine wave inverter to make 110 and that actually powers all the lights in my barn when I built this barn on the end of the other one the only power that it had was uh, an outside outlet on the the other barn that you know I added on to so I did it decided not to go and add uh, power and just keep it as a storage building basically so I needed something to light it up when I'm out here. So basically my solution was uh, buy some of those temporary lighting strings. You get them at like Home Depot and they each hold five lights and then just add some lights that are actually powered by the sun. And I did this about six years ago. You can see they're, they're all LED bulbs now. I did this about six years ago and you know I've been having trouble with batteries and stuff so I decided to upgrade it now and also up till last week I was using all the CFL type bulbs which drew 20 two and a half watts and I just switched to 15 watt 1600 lumen LED bulbs from Amazon so I have 15 bulbs in the uh, building and let's see, that's 150, 225 watts total I should be using. So I just wanted to, you know, share this with you and just show you how simple it is to play with uh, solar. And um, I really wanted to upgrade this a little bit this year in case the grid does go down. Um, I want a source of low, you know, I don't need a lot of energy, but, you know, you keep things like security systems running and stuff like that. So... I thought this would be a good place to start with. And I will be building a, a bigger grid with good batteries later. Now let's see, I also did pick up a, uh, this is gonna be a voltage meter with a shunt to tell exactly uh, how much power I am consuming here. And you know whether or not it was really worth wasting the money on the batteries and everything else. But we'll see over time. And one of the things I've been working on the last couple of weeks is actually uh, cleaning out this building. You see, I got my Chevy up there, and then I got the vet kind of buried in there. And I've got to find another place to store my wood, because that's taking up a lot of room right now. But um, as it stands now, I do have a lot of extra room. I sold several motorcycles, I sold old tractors, I sold my pontoon boat, I sold old chippers, shredders, tractor equipment and stuff. And I did actually move around all of my uh, pallet racking. So I've got you know, everything kind of on the one side now. And I do have a lot of floor space now to work on uh, you know, my next projects. So this has really been a fun project and you know now I do have room to work in and I'm not just kind of piled one thing on top of the other. So it's been uh, been hotter than hell in here, but it was worth it. Okay, I just got the batteries, they were just delivered. And these are the batteries that I'm using. They're just a um, 
Renogy uh, 100 amp hour AGM type lead acid battery and um, they are you know not the best longest lasting for something like this but for I think it was $147 I paid each on Amazon for them they were good a good buy and you can see they Amazon actually sent a big truck out here and delivered them this morning and there's no damage whatsoever to the boxes and they definitely are well packaged with a package within the package within the package and you know pack put there it comes with the hardware so let me get them out of here and just kind of carry them over and put them in place and you know there you can kind of see how how nice and clean everything's starting to get so I can move things around all right, I got the batteries sitting where the old ones did. They're a little bit longer, hang off a little bit, but pretty much they've got these nice protection caps on them. So I'm just going to take them off and check the voltage first to make sure that they're somewhat close to um, being what? Being a matched pair almost. So let's see. This one is 12.83 volts. And this one is 12.83 volts, so they're perfect. Um, I really should have a battery balancer when using two of them, but I'm trying to do this cheap, so. Uh, you know, one other reason I went with these uh, lead acid type batteries is they can be charged at colder temperatures. These actually, um, they lose capacity, but you can charge them right down to, uh, I think, you know, like 30 degrees, and it does get cool here in the winter. So if you went with a um, lithium type battery, you'd have a problem. So I'm just working on connecting these batteries together. You see my old cables were just barely long enough. Um, these are a little bit longer battery, but I'm just going to connect everything up on the hot side first, and then I'll go back and connect the ground side. They do give you real nice threaded hardware. Comes with the batteries, so. And you do want to make sure that you're careful and you uh, have your polarities right and everything at this point in time, because uh, you actually can do a lot of damage if you don't and you can actually get hurt with this kind of um, energy potential in these batteries. Let me get these hooked up. Now that everything's all hooked up I'm going to turn on the solar panel and go back and program this for the type of batteries that I have. Here we go. They're seeing 18 volts from the panel, it looks like. Let me get this programmed up. Okay, so here we are. That's uh, everything set up. I got it programmed for the proper battery type. Um, there is a load with another light there that you can automatically turn on and off, but I'm not. Uh, everything's hooked in there. Shunt's hooked in and it's showing the um, power consumption and the voltage, so I'll be able to monitor that. And let's try uh, flopping on this converter. Alright, so we're all ready to, to try the lights. I'm gonna try to switch them on. Let me turn the light down here. The switch for the lights. And there they go. 100% solar power. So that should uh, help out and save a little. And at the same time, it will allow me to play with it and uh, see if it's really worth going any further into it. In here with the load on, a fan kicks on in that converter. But I'm also going to look into a full sine wave inverter because one thing I noticed when I was using the uh, fluorescent lights this uh, modified sine wave seemed to shorten the life on them so I'm not sure if it was just coincidence or what but 
I'm gonna, you know, upgrade that too. So I just thought I'd, you know, give you a quick uh, update on some of the other things I've got going on here. And, you know, I did get some really good buys on Amazon during that Prime Day, so I couldn't pass it up to uh, get this system back up and running. So basically I don't expect a whole lot with that 10 watt panel up there, but, you know, I'd only use these lights uh, a couple hours a day maybe, if that. So hopefully, you know, they will do it and, uh, you know, I'll tell you over time how it worked out. Just one little thing to finish up I didn't show you is, uh, you can see that we're drawing about 17.4 amps, um, 216.7 watts for all the lights to run. So with uh, 200 amp batteries, that should give me close to 10 hours if they're fully charged. So, you know, um, that's really going to be pretty amazing if that's what it is. And I thought I'd just step outside to show you there's absolutely zero sun out today. So when you look at the charging current that's going into the battery, it's only one amp. So I can't wait to see what happens when the sun comes out. But uh, without sun, you've got very little power. So I just thought I'd, uh, you know, share with you and show you that I am playing with renewable energy now before I actually take the big step into going 100% solar. But, um, you know, this is the start of it and what I'm playing with. There are a lot of good YouTube panel channels with people that really know what they're doing with the solar. Um, if you're interested in learning more, you should do some investigation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.